Hello, I'm Giles Morris from Nature Space, and today, as the summer term approaches, I thought I'd show you how to make a solar oven. Yes, using just the sun's energy to cook with. It's actually really easy. A solar oven works a little bit like a greenhouse or a polytunnel. Light from the sun passes through the glass or the clear plastic to heat the plants and the ground below. The plants and the ground then emit heat in the form of radiation which is trapped by the plastic or the glass, helping to keep the building warm. So here is my solar oven, working very similar to how a greenhouse would work. The sun's rays go through the perspex lid, heating up the oven inside. It is now 120 degrees, and it's only had the oven in the sun for about 10 minutes. We've increased the heat by putting tin foil around the edges, which reflect the energy back to the middle where we want to cook. And as black absorbs the heat, this gets incredibly hot and that's our base for cooking on. So here's how to make a really simple solar oven. What you need is a box which is big enough to fit in a small frying pan or a small pot. We'll come to that in a minute. You also need tin foil, a ruler, a pen, some cling film, and some glue. Either spray glue or PVA will be absolutely fine. So the first thing you need to do is measure about 8 to 10 centimetres up the side of the box, depending on how deep your frying pan or pot is. So I'm going to go for 8 centimetres. And then draw a line all the way around the box like so. Once you've drawn a line all the way around the box, it is now time to cut the top off. Get an adult to help you with the scissors and make a little hole in and then just start cutting around the line. Roll out your tin foil, place your oven base on top of it and then draw around it so you have exactly this right size of tin foil to put on, put in the bottom of your solar oven. And then start cutting. So once you've cut it out to size, you need to get your glue and either paste it if you're using PVA or spray this if you're using spray glue on the bottom of the box, all in the corners. And then we can add the tin foil, pressing it right down into the corners to form the bottom of the solar oven. Like that. And now we repeat the same for the sides. So once we've lined the base of the box and the sides of the box, it should look a bit like that. I've also lined the offcuts of the upper part of the box that we took off earlier with tin foil because these will go around the edge of the box like that, further reflecting the sun's energy onto our oven, making it even warmer. So now it's time to start cooking. I'm going to take my pot or small frying pan and put it in the oven and then I made some shortbread mixture earlier on and we're going to see if we can cook shortbreads in this late April sunshine. So now it's time to cover the box. I'm going to put a thermometer in there so it helps me to see how hot it gets. Getting my cling film and I'm going to cover the box, the top of the box with cling film like so. Going to actually wrap, it's much easier to wrap it right around there. So I've got a nicely sealed oven. So here we are, four and a half hours later, and the shortbreads look like they're cooked. It's taken a long time today because we're late April and the sun isn't as hot as it will be in May or June. If you were trying this in May or June, they'd be cooking perhaps in two hours rather than four and a half. Okay, now I'm going to cut off 
the top and remove the pan. The thermometer is saying it's over 120 degrees Fahrenheit in there. And there we are. Oh, this is very hot. Look at that. Nice biscuit. Mmm, with a good bit of crunch. Those are very good. So baking in a solar oven can take quite a long time. You're never going to get them hot enough to fry anything. But what you can do is simmer in very, very hot water, not quite boiling. The reason I use a frying pan is because it's shallow and it's broad and it's made of metal, so it heats up very quickly. So I put this frying pan with a little bit of water in the oven about 30 minutes ago and as you can see there's a little bit of steam coming off it and there's bubbles simmering at the bottom. So you can chop fine apple and pop it in the simmering water and it should form apple stew within about 30 minutes. So it's as simple as that and with this glorious weather at the moment the summer term and the summer holidays in front of you I very much hope you have a great time building and cooking in your solar oven. But do remember, it does get very hot, so do have an adult with you for your own health and safety. Enjoy.